Hi everyone, this is James from Anemone Aquascape Gallery. Welcome back for part 2 of my 90p aquarium build. If you didn't get a chance to watch last week's video, I'll leave a link for you. In the previous video I went over some of the equipment I'm using, along with the process of creating the hardscape. Make sure to check it out. This week I'll be completing this setup by planting the aquarium, filling it up with water, and showing you all what it looked like after a few days. If you like these kinds of videos, I definitely appreciate all of your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. You can also follow my Instagram at Anemone Aquascape Gallery, where I tend to reveal things a little bit earlier. My selection of plants for the tank was more a matter of what I had available rather than selecting plants to order. I've been keeping a small holding tank in my basement for some of my plants and that's let me reuse plants from other tanks rather than having to buy new ones each time. The plan is to plant Micranthum Monte Carlo in the foreground, while planting HC Cuba in the background. I'll also have a transition period between the two plants where they're mixing with each other. The general idea is that it creates some perspective and depth, since the smaller HC Cuba is in the background compared to the larger Monte Carlo in the foreground. But in a more practical sense, I just didn't have enough of either to use by themselves, so I had to mix them together. I also have some Sarogyne Repens and Pogo Stem and Hell Fairy. I'm not completely sold on whether or not I'd stick with these long term. I'll see how they develop and go from there. After setting everything up, I think it makes sense to stick with a more minimalist look or go all out with different types of plants. Having just the Sarogyne Repens and Pogo Stem and Hell Fairy in addition to the two carbon plants seems like a halfway measure. After I get bored of this tank, it might be fun to change out the plants but keep the same hardscape. I can see a lot of different plant possibilities with this layout. For example, I could see myself planting a lot of stem plants in the top left corner in the background. If you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them in the comments. You'll notice I have a red spray bottle that I routinely use. I spray all of the plants in the area I've finished planting and continue spraying it so the plants don't dry out. I've tried planting in many different ways, but it's always been easiest for me to plant when the soil is dry. Whenever the soil is wet, I always end up getting soil stuck between my tweezers and it takes much longer. I'd basically rather plant with the soil completely dry or with the water filled up all the way. I'm sure everyone has different preferences, but this is just what works best for me. I didn't really plan or portion things properly. As I continued planting the HC Cuba in the background, I began realizing that I was running out of plants and had to plant much more thinly than in the foreground. It's definitely going to look patchy for the first few months, but long term I'm sure it'll be just fine. I want to talk about the filtration for this aquarium because I ended up running into some unique problems. I'm using the Eheim 2217 or the Classic 600 as it's also called. I thought it was a perfect size filter for a 90p aquarium and it was way more affordable than the Waze Biomasters. By the way, I don't run heaters in any of my aquariums, I just run them at room temperature around 70 to 73 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 to 23 degrees Celsius for my international friends. The problem with the Eheim is that the inlet and the outlets are actually different sizes. The inlet is 16 by 22 millimeters, but the outlet is smaller at 12, 16 millimeters. I didn't have the proper hosing for the 12 by 16 millimeters, and I didn't like the look of two different sized lily pipes together. As a temporary solution, I'm using Eheim's ugly green tubing, but eventually I'm going to get a converter to allow me to use the same size tubing and same sized lily pipes. I hope you guys like the look of this aquascape. I got a lot of compliments on the hardscape and I'm really appreciative, especially since I've never felt like I was great at the hardscaping process. Iwagubi layouts are really challenging due to the minimalism and simplicity but I feel pretty good about this one. 
I hope once I get past the cycling and the algae related issues, the tank will start to come to form and I can do some follow up videos on it. I'll have to ask you all what kind of fish you think it would look good in here. I actually have it planned out already, but I'm very happy to hear what ideas you would do. If you like this video, please support me by subscribing, liking the video, or commenting below. Enjoy the short cinematic that I created, and stay tuned for next week's video. Thank you.